In their first debate since the start of the Israel-Hamas war, the Republican presidential candidates all declared hawkish support for Israel but squabbled over China and Ukraine as they faced growing pressure to try to catch Donald Trump, who was again absent. Sparring over several issues were Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley, who has appeared competitive with DeSantis' distant second-place position in some national polls. Much of the debate focused on policy, especially foreign policy issues, rather than Trump and his record. Haley, the former South Carolina governor and United Nations ambassador, declared she would end trade relations with China until they stop murdering Americans from fentanyl, something Ron has yet to say that he's going to do. In return, the Florida governor said Haley welcomed Chinese investment to her state referencing a land deal with a Chinese manufacturer while she led South Carolina. And my second observation is these three in the middle think they're the enemy. I know China is the enemy. And that's what we should be focused on. So let's be really clear. Ambassador Haley, what would you do? What would you be urging Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to do? Would you consider a humanitarian pause, for example? The first thing I said to him when it happened was I said, finish them. Finish them. If you want to stop the 40-plus attacks on military personnel in the Middle East, you have to strike in Iran. If you want to make a difference, you cannot just continue to have strikes in Syria on warehouses. You actually have to cut off the head of the snake, and the head of the snake is Iran and not simply their proxies. In order for us to have a powerful response from America, we have to be in a position of strength. As President of the United States, my foreign policy is simple. You cannot negotiate with evil. You have to destroy it. The Governor DeSantis here, what do you think about what he just said? I was the first presidential candidate to say, if you are here on a student visa as a foreign national, you're making common cause with Hamas, I'm canceling your visa and I'm sending you home. No questions asked. Anti-Semitism is just as awful as racism, and we've got to make sure they're protected. And for everybody that's protesting on these college campuses in favor of Hamas, let me remind you something. Hamas said death to Israel and death to America. They hate and would kill you, too. Let's talk now about last night's election results. And what I'll tell you is, as much as I'm pro-life, I don't judge anyone for being pro-choice, and I don't want them to judge me for being pro-life. None of these state laws put a woman in jail or give her the death penalty and stop Thank the you, judgment. Ambassador. We don't need to divide America over this issue anymore. Thank you, Ambassador. We're better off when everybody counts. Uh, we're better off when we can promote a culture of life. At the same time, I understand that some of these states are doing it a little bit different. Fights back to that Republican culture of losing. The Republicans did not have an alternative amendment or vision on the table. Really good, deep conversation, and we appreciate you all being here.